Okay, so on my workbench today is a verge bracket clock. Um, the problem I'm having at the moment with the arbor is that the knife edge has been filed so many times that I'm sure you can see the, the bottom of the knife edge here where the pendulum actually rocks um, is now so far above centre that as the pendulum swings side to side the arbor itself lifts and um, this causes problems with obviously with the way the pallets interact with the teeth of the crown wheel um, so basically what we need to do is add more material to or completely remake this knife edge and bring it back down onto centre there's a few ways of doing that we can solder or braze some new material onto the knife edge we can cut off and completely remake this steel block at the end here um, or we can basically re-pivot the arbor and then file a V a knife edge onto onto the new pivot um, but these days I tend to go straight towards the micro welder which I know not everybody has but um, I do so this is the Orion 100C micro welder it's, it's all touch screen so this controls how much power you're putting through the workpiece I tend to start nice and low we want auto trigger on because I don't use the foot pedal agitation I tend to leave on for um, working with steel you have to press play you can pause it and then nothing will work or you have to press play for it to start you can load and save settings and so on but there's not really much need to do that um, so yeah we've got a, an argon supply which goes into the back of the machine and it comes out through this tube um, this is a network cable right, let's bring down the other end so this is <laughs> the base of the microscope it's, it's all LED lit this is the actual gun here so this comes off this is all sealed with an o-ring there because the gas comes out through this hole around the electrode here so that you're getting a nice cloud of gas to work within um, and basically it's a, it's a five times microscope that we're working under and I will see what we can show you so if we look through the, the hole here there we go this is the view I have when welding um, but it should obviously be in focus but this being a digital camera it's not going to work so yeah anyway that's pretty much what I see whilst welding um, and as soon as the workpiece which will be clipped to this crocodile clip here oh that's difficult to keep centered makes electrical contact the machine beeps and then it will make a weld but obviously I don't want to actually weld onto the clip so I'm going to set up and build up some carbon steel material on the bottom of that knife edge and uh, see how it goes and the micro weld is actually automatic so as soon as the workpiece touches it's about ready to go So what we're doing is a series of spot welds um, using blue steel as the filler rod.
and I'm just going back and forth along the edge. Just add in some materials required. So, I'm not sure how much you'll be able to see, but you can see we're slowly working our way down back towards the centre of the arbor. I need to do about the same amount again uh, and then build out to the sides a bit just so I've got a bit to file away and get a decent shape back on there. Okay well it doesn't look too pretty and there's a bit of soot on there um, but essentially we've lumped on some weld. We've gone about the same depth as the arbor to give us room to file it off uh, and we've gone enough side to side enough build up on the sides that we can file that away. There's one accidental lump there which I'll also have to grind off. Um, but basically I'm going to pop a, a diamond disc in the lathe and uh, grind it roughly to shape like that, finish off with diamond laps using them like a hand file. Um, I decided to skip a chunk of the welding video because it was getting a bit boring to to talk through it, let alone sit and watch me talk about it. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just going to go set the lathe up for that and I'll set the camera up at the same time and uh, I'll do a little shoot. Okay, well the lathe's all set up with a diamond disc, a piece of paper just to protect the ways. Um, essentially I'm just going to grind, <laughs> present the, the work piece I can flatten out both sides quite nicely there. Um, I'm going to do it freehand. I'll tidy everything up with a file afterwards. I've done this a couple of times. I've got no concerns. So the first pass, whoa, just straighten out that bottom edge just to give me something to sharpen up to. Uh, now I'll start doing these sides. Again, this isn't going to be very fun to watch, so I'm just going to skip, stop the recording here and start back up when we're done. Okay, so this is straight off the grinder. Um, there are a couple of small pits that are actually high enough up that they're not going to affect the, the working of it, but they don't look very nice, so these may get filled with weld. Um, it is ever so slightly in my opinion off center to this side so I've left it slightly below the center line still so that means I can remove a bit more off this side and it will wander back onto to center there as well as correct for the, the height um, so yes yeah, just a bit of finishing work using this file uh, and then we'll go through the, the finer grades just to get a 
a slight polish on there. Um, again, boring to watch, so I'll probably skip the video and uh, just show you the end result. Okay, well, it's not very easy to film, but we're back pretty much on the arbor center line. Bit of a reflection there that makes it look funny. There you go. So we're pretty much. I would lean towards maybe a little high on the centre line of the arbor. Um, that's not very easy to see, but we're as close as necessary on the centre line that way. Um, you can see along here that black line going across. Uh, that is where I started welding below there, so that's the original material above weld below. Um, that's just aesthetic, it's not going to actually affect the running of the clock at all, so I'm probably going to leave that as is. I could equally fill that trough there with a bit more weld and uh, grind it back down, but it's completely unnecessary. This part's unseen, that's more than good enough for a functional job, um, and significantly better than it was. So that's now going to function completely properly as a verge escapement as it should do. Unfortunately, someone has filed away at the arbor to try and create some clearance for the teeth. So I'm wondering, well that will be because this knife edge had worked its way up with various sharpenings. So the arbor was sitting lower, closer to the teeth. Yeah. Never mind. Um, palette slips on here aren't particularly great but they're a different job for a different day